episode story number 13, Niffle and the Seance. At Niffle's cosy underground cavern, glowing with the soft light of thousands of dream bottles, Niffle's busy writing notes about his encounter with Ravi. <laughs> After his fascinating encounter with Ravi, Niffle's curiosity about meditation and the spiritual world grew. Determined to learn more about what humans do, he decides to visit others who might be meditating. I wonder who else might be out there. Niffle must go explore. Niffle clicks his fingers, intending to teleport to the nearest meditating person. Instead, he is pulled through a portal and finds himself in a dark room where people are seated in a circle, holding hands and focusing intensely. Oh, what's this place? This isn't meditation. The room is filled with a heavy mystical atmosphere, candles flicker in the background casting eerie shadows of the sitters on the walls. Niffle realises he's in the middle of some meeting with humans on the earth plane. He moves around the room, trying to understand what's happening. Oh, what are they doing? As Niffle looks around the room, he sees people sitting down on chairs towards each other in a circle, their eyes open and their palms faced up on their laps. Hello, peoples. I'm Niffle. He says, shouting out to everyone around him. One of the circle members, a woman named Dawn, shivers and looks around, then says, Ooh, it's gone all cold. The others nod, murmuring in agreement. Niffle, intrigued, decides to try and communicate more. He taps Aniko gently on the ankle, causing her to jump slightly. Ah, oh, something just touched my leg. I'm here. Can you hear me? Despite his efforts, the circle members can only feel his presence. He walks around the room, his footsteps soft but noticeable. The circle members exchange excited whispers. Oh, footsteps. There's definitely a presence here. We're not alone. Niffle, realizing he cannot make them see or hear him directly, decides to leave. He clicks his fingers and tries to teleport back to his cavern, but it doesn't work. Instead, he feels the energy drop in the room, Niffle's mind buzzing with questions. Niffle clicks his fingers again. Oh no! My fingers are broken. I'm lost. Oh, did anybody hear that clicking sound? Did anyone else hear that? Niffle tries to contact them again, this time trying to tap their feet and shout, but nothing works. After some time, he feels the energy get lighter. Okay, everybody. So we need to close the circle now. Anyway, it's been two hours. Okay. All right, loving spirit. Guides, help us, all of you. We thank you for the love and protection being given us as we've been sitting. And thank you for your efforts in, in trying to show us the power of loving spirit and what you can do. If there's any energies left in the room, please take that and pass it on to those that really need it, wherever that may be in the world. We love you, amen. 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 And when they close a the circle, the room becomes fuzzy and the portal spits Niffle out of the room where he finds himself in a void stuck in between the earth plane and his dimension. Oh, uh, where am I? He clicks his fingers and teleports back to his cavern. Niffle paces back and forth, deep in thought. That was strange. I was stuck. And before that, they couldn't see me, but they could feel me. I've stepped into a new world beyond dreams. So Niffle sits down and begins to jot his experiences, the glow of the dream bottles casting a warm light over his notes. Niffle's adventure in the seance room opened up a new chapter in his journey beyond the dream world. No longer confined to the world of dreams, he began to explore the realms of mediumship and spiritual energy. What more would he discover in his new intriguing world? The adventures of Niffle, the dreamkeeper, continue. <laughs>